it's on. I wasn't trying to steal T.S. Madison. I think I'm going to have to chop two videos up in this but because my last video cut off. But I was apologizing to Kendra. So I'm just going to link the two videos together anyway. Continuing of what I was saying. Uh, so we get into the bathroom scene after the after Kendra's blow up. And J. Twan is like trying to make a big scene about, you know, what was said or move out the way. And J. Twan just gives me that if the moment... If it's not about you, you have to make it about you. And I didn't understand why. So I I don't know. Um, so then Kendra comes and um Kendra, I mean Jaylon comes and Kendra talks to Jaylon. You know, Jaylon, you look really good in that confessional. The confessional at the beginning this 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 episode, your confessional was on point. I'm liking Jalen. But it's something about Jalen that, that, that gives me I have to be the Beyonce of the group and you got to announce that you're here, you're there, what's going on, that you are, you above the other girls and it's like, but you on the same show as I hate when people do that. I'm the HBIC, you know, I'm the queen bitch around here. Okay, could be true. But if you the queen bitch, why you on the same show as everybody else that's trying to get a platform and use it? But that's just me. I don't know. Um. So they go back in, and then Kendra says, "Let's talk about it another time." Yada yada yada. You know. So, you know, this is why I don't argue with ghetto like people. But Oliver, this is why I respect Oliver so much, <clears throat> and I I really enjoy his presence and his personality and everything. Um. He was like, you know what? I'm from Miami, and that's how I speak, and I'm sorry if you took it that way. I was just saying that how I was, and he apologized, and they moved on, and that's what it's really about. You know, people have misunderstood. I feel like it was a huge, big misunderstanding, and I'm glad they moved on. Now, what I'm a little confused about is it looks like next week, I don't know if, cause, cause, uh, home, somebody walked in, I, who was it? It was Cameron or it was, it was somebody. And they said, are you going to Miami? And Kendra's like, yeah, I'm going. And they was like, oh, the situation with Oliver and Kendra's a little like shaky as if they didn't move on. So I don't know. Um, so we go to one week later and then Oliver has his little brunch. Well, not little. I don't want to say little. But Oliver has the brunch at his house. He invites Kendra. Um, he invites who? I like the girl that had the blue shirt on that says Power Bottom. Um, that was a that was a little cute Sunday brunch or whatever. And then Oliver um invited him to come to his performance at the Queen's Court, which is great. I'm glad Oliver is out here getting all these bookings and deals and stuff. I want to come to Atlanta, Oliver, so I can meet you. Um, and once again, then Jalen has a issue talking about some, the hotel y'all, y'all saying, and I'm going to get on Jalen a little later on. Like once again, you acting like you the Beyonce of the group, but maybe you are. I don't know. I don't see it, but. Because to me, I think everybody's on the same same show. Some people may have a little bit more money than the other. Some people may have a little bit more exposure. But y'all are all on the same show using a platform for as a stepping stone. So that's just how I see it. Um, Jay Twan and the girl talking. I don't know the girl's name. His roommate, his his uh, his other half, the artist that he works with. I, I got to learn her name. Um. Then Jay Twan pointed out a very good um, point that Kendra has this everybody's out to get me complex. I would love to hear Kendra's story and what she went through in her past because there's some insecurities, I'm sure, about her being trans and, you know, probably other things that happen. I would love to hear Kendra's story because she definitely does have this everybody is out to get me complex. And then she over exaggerates and then she has to fight and cut up to she thinks everybody's out to get her when that's not really the case um then Jay Twan and 
What is their group name? What is the group name? Officer Born Again, I believe the is that the I'm gonna say Born Again. The Born Again group, they said they don't wanna go to Miami, like, oh, I don't wanna be bothered with that or whatever, but Y'all, J. Twan, what really confused me was you was acting like you so above the drama. But you was in the drama, too, the last time I checked. Like, you went in the bathroom and made a scene, too. So, you acting like you was just sitting there. But the last time I checked, you were a part of the drama, too. So, I'm just a little confused with that, you know. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm just saying. Um... This is where Jalen kind of like upset me and where I'm kind of done with Jalen as of this episode. Jalen said, says Oliver doesn't have any class. Or it seems like Oliver doesn't have any class. Like, where did you get that from? Like, Oliver is one of the most bougiest of this, this, this cast. Like, he's the most logical... The bougiest one, like, he literally, that's what him and Kendra were arguing about. Is he, Kendra was like, you came to the party acting like you were all of that. So, classy is, you don't know if Oliver is classy. Like, I don't think Oliver would just stay in any bum-ass hotel. Like, that really, I didn't like that, Jaylee. But, you know, I'm not going to ride you too hard. You think you're the Beyonce of the group, and maybe you are in your head. Um, Oliver at the gym. Oliver, you got some cakes. Oliver, you got a boyfriend because I'm going to take you on a date. No, I'm joking, but I'm serious, though. Um, then Oliver says the same thing that I was thinking about Jay Twan. If the attention is not on him, he has to make it about him. And I couldn't agree more. So, um... Oliver and Q were talking, and I really enjoyed Q. I, it's something about him that I kind of, like, like. Like, these people, I don't know. I have a sense of people that have, like, a, a genuine spirit on them. Like, and I get that from him. I get that from him. I get that from Oliver. Get that from him. Q, I get that from Oliver. Yeah. Um... So, that was good. And then Oliver told him, you know, I want to invite you to Miami, but I did invite everybody. So, I like that. So, you won't have no Nene and Cynthia. She go, oh, you didn't tell me who was coming and all this shit. You know, so I did like that. Um, oh. Jalen and Kendra in the studio. Kendra, I actually do kind of like your little flow you got going on. I do like it. You kind of got a Kaya, Jackie O-esque going on, I guess. And that was cute. Then y'all invite Oliver. Oliver, I did not know you could sing the way you could sing. When you was like, you going to child a little more Faith Evans and Kelly Price, you did that in that studio. I'm here for that, Oliver. I fucks with you. You still didn't let me take you on a date so she could sing to me. But I enjoyed that. Oliver jumped on the song. You know, he threw them a little shade. Kendra, why were you singing? I don't know. But I'm sure it turned out good. I can't wait to hear the song and the finishing touches touches on it. Um. Then once again, another moment that's not about Jalen. Oh, Oliver's here. Why is Oliver here? Oliver is in the studio. Oliver, you need to move over because I'm here to work on my music. Bitch, I thought you sold hair. What you talking about? Like, Oliver's, you know, he's like a an assistant to Funky Dineva, but he pushes his music out. So why are you going to try to come out? Like, here's my thing with shit like that. Why do people think? Because we do the same thing. Like, if you do music... And I do music. Why can't we do music together? It's it's enough fans for everybody. It's enough music for everybody. So I don't know why people do that. Oh, nah, I don't really fuck with her. Cause, mm -mm 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 -mm. Hell nah, mm -mm, that bitch ain't for me. Uh-uh, nah, uh-uh. Then it's like, 
what's the what's the point of all that negative energy? Like y'all can literally be in the same field. It's enough money out here for everybody. I guess. I don't know. Um, nigga, my brother Tick was talking about opening up the damn door. Um, Gardini tickles me. So, then the Q was talking about Cameron and all this kind of stuff. And then and Q, then I feel like Cameron kind of entertains a lot of lies instead of getting it from the horse's mouth. And Cameron, I did like you at the beginning of the season, but I'm not feeling you like that anymore. You're gonna, I don't know. I'm gonna have to see a little bit more of you. I don't know. Then Q threw a whole lot of shade, and he was like, "We tired of giving you a pass, cause you sick." And I was like, "Ooh." But this was a very good episode. I'm glad Kendra and Oliver made up. And uh, next episode looked like it's gonna be lit. Oliver. Thank you for reaching out to me. And I'm probably not going to add a little bit because the movie maker isn't working right for me right now. But I do want to reach out and send an olive branch to Kendra. I am sorry for the things that I've said that was very disrespectful of me to say. You do not have to attack someone's appearance to attack their character, how you feel about them at the time. And that's something that I'm working on. So, Kendra, I do apologize. And to anyone out there that feelings I hurt for saying that, I also apologize. Have a good night, y'all. Catch y'all chasing Atlanta. Bye.